Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. This is a follow-up on a video I made a few years ago where I explain you guys how you can morph icons from one icon to another in Adobe After Effects. And in that tutorial, I showed a few examples where these icons have the same amount of masks because that's the easiest way to transfer from A to B. But a lot of you guys asked me how you could transfer a simple icon to a more complex icon or the other way around. Um, and there isn't a really easy answer to it. But in this video, I'll try to show you guys how you can fix this. It's not the best solution, but hey, it works. But if you want to make this look good, you have to do some manual tweaking as well. But um, I'll try to show the basics of it. So let's get into it. So um, in Illustrator, I've actually ripped these icons off a uh, website, freepick.com. But um, as you can see, these don't have a stroke. So I'm just gonna recreate them. Not very original, but um, whoops, this is how we're gonna do it. Um, and I'm just gonna speed this up because it this video shouldn't take 10 minutes, so um, let's go. All right, perfect. So of course they, <laughs> they look a little different. Uh, just want to do this quick and dirty, but hey, we got two icons. We got this magnifying glass and we got this uh, weird ass AliExpress controller. Um, yeah, let's start morphing them. I'm just gonna copy them and I'm just gonna scale them a bit. All right, so now like in the original tutorial, you have to open up the attributes panel. Um, and once you select an icon, you cannot flip the direction of the path. So like I explained in that tutorial, you have to make a compound path. I'm just gonna click this one and we're gonna do the same for the other icon. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna copy the magnifying glass. I'm gonna go to After Effects, create a new shape layer and I'm just gonna hit command V. And now we're just gonna look for the stroke effect. Generate stroke. There we go. Check all masks, brush size four. When we open up the mask panel, we see we have seven masks. So I'm just gonna create another shape layer. Go back to Illustrator, now select the other icon. Paste it and just copy the effect from the first shape layer. And voila, there's the second icon. Now, if we check the masks on this one, as you can see, it has 14 masks. So it has a lot more. So I'm just gonna start with this one. So select all of the masks. And now create a keyframe for the mask path. So this is gonna be the end frame. So now move back the timeline a little bit. Just gonna select the magnifying glass again in After Effects. And while these masks are still selected, hit Command V again, and it will create keyframes for the magnifying glass. And as you can see, it will only cover the first seven masks. So as you can see, there's still a lot of stuff uh, left in the screen that you don't want to see at the beginning of this animation. 
and I'm sorry to say but there is no easy trick to get rid of it so what I do is I create keyframes for the remaining masks and just move the objects out of the screen like so and now when you play the animation you actually see it entering the screen and of course that's not what we want so you want to move this keyframe as close as possible to the final keyframe so you actually don't see it appearing see it goes so fast you won't see it and we will have to do that for the remaining keyframes as well and i know this kind of sucks but there is no other way right now um, or at least not that i know of this is how it looks right now and of course i gotta admit the way these last few parts appear is kind of weird so you would have to play around with this manually so um for example the circle which mask is it it's mask number 10 instead of it just appearing we could play around with these keyframes a little bit more i guess um let's see what we can do so maybe if we just just let this morph as well it might look a little more natural See, that already looks more organic. So, um, yeah, you will definitely have to invest some time to make these simple to complex icons uh, more better. But um, the most important part is that you add keyframes for the masks that won't morph from A to B. So just move them out of the screen and then just manually um, fine-tune it so it looks cool all right guys that's pretty much it for this video I hope it was useful I hope you can now transfer simple icons to more complex icons in Adobe After Effects or the other way around if something is still unclear leave a comment down below and if you like this stuff please hit that thumbs up please subscribe and um, I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye